Hey everyone, uh, another round of testing uh, of a different uh, power setup in my um, RC Powers F18 version 3. Today I'm testing the uh, Hobby King Turnigy Aero Drive D2826 uh, 2200 kilovolt motor. Um, I'm going to test it on the 6x4 APC, 6x3, and 6x4 EMP and see if there's uh, any difference. Um, I have my uh, ESC time ring set at the medium or middle based on some information I read from uh, Gray on the RC Powers website. So um, we'll see how it goes. I've used this motor on several other planes, but I've never tried it with uh, medium um, setting on my speed controller or the 6x3 or 6x4 EMP. So uh, here we go. So the plane is a little bit heavier than the last two motors I, I tested. Uh, the speed controller is, I'm using a 40 amp speed controller because the motor is rated to draw more than, or 34 amps. So I want it to be safe. Um, so the bigger speed controller cost me 11 grams in weight, but I'm still, uh, I'm still at a really good, uh, really good weight from the standpoint of maneuverability. Uh, it's pretty decent speed. I actually don't, uh, honestly, I don't see a lot of difference right now between it and the, the 22.12.6 that I tested yesterday. Try a little slow flying here. Pretty decent punch. So I'm getting about the same performance uh, with the 6x4 APC that I'm used to on my MiGs. Uh, my MiG, I fly it on my MiG-29 V1s. And I've used a 40 amp speed controller on those, but uh, I haven't really paid much attention to the, the timing setting. Go ahead in the trees, dummy. So pretty, pretty decent high alpha there. Okay. Good vertical. So good, uh, good overall performance there with the 6x4 APC. Um, you know, I, I, it's tough to tell. I think I'm, from a performance standpoint, flying wise, um, I would say I think it's a little bit better on the 6x4 APC than the RC timer was uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, motor's just a tiny bit warm. Uh, speed controller actually is cool. Battery's cool. So, um, you know, having that f extra 10 amps on the speed controller when I'm only pulling 24, it's, uh, you know, really 
uh, kept the speed controller cool. So I'm going to see what uh, what numbers I get out of it today. Maybe I can go back to a 30 amp speed controller with this motor, but just uh, lighten it up by uh, by 10 or 11 grams. But uh, anyway, so that was that was pretty good. Um, like I say, I think a little bit better on the 6x4 APC than the RC Timer 2212 motor. Um, and so now I'm excited to see what it'll do on the 6x3 EMP. So I'll be right back with you. All right, uh, round two of today's test. Uh, just swapped out props. I now have the uh, 6x3 EMP. Uh, never tried this prop on this motor. Um, I was getting, uh, just tested it on the watt meter with a fresh battery, uh, 20, 23 amps, so one amp less than the 6x4, and uh, basically the exact same watts. So uh, interested to see how this uh, this works out. So here we go. So really, I uh, can't, um, you know, I think those numbers are so close. I can't really say that I see much difference in the, um, in the flying performance. So I guess you might have, uh, I suppose theoretically, if those, if those numbers, uh, you know, one less amp for basically the exact same performance, you'd have a tiny bit better efficiency. And you do, I think, uh, let's just punch her into the vertical here. So it might spool up a little faster again, like uh, like the other motors did with the 6x3, you know, so you just get maybe a little bit better jump on acceleration, but uh, you know, I think it's from a standpoint of cruising and and top speed, both the same as the 6x4 uh, APC. You know, this plane, it just handles so beautifully at this weight. It really does. This is such a great weight for this plane. Oop. Overbanked myself into the ground there. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I've seen enough on the 6x3 uh, EMP prop. Okay. So motor is uh, about the same as it was with the 6x4 APC. Speed controller is still cool. Battery's good. 
All right, so that uh, that was good. Like I said, I very very small difference in uh, in performance, uh, other than that tiny little bit of jump initially when you hammer on the the throttle. But uh, from a standpoint of the rest of it, uh, very very close to the the six by four APC on this motor, and I you know the numbers uh, on the watt meter probably indicate that. So I'm gonna. Just uh, swap it out again, put on the 6x4 EMP and see what kind of fun we can have with that. So I'll be right back with you. Alright, last round of testing for today. Um, got the 6x4 EMP prop on now. Um, just did a test on the watt meter. Uh, numbers were interesting. 26 uh, amps and 300 watts. So a uh, bit, bit of a significant jump up there from the... Uh, 6x4 APC and the 6x3 EMP, so interested to see how that translates to performance in the air. So, here we go. Maybe a tiny bit faster. Good vertical. And I think like I said yesterday when I tested the 2212, it, it feels a little snappier with the 6x4 EMP than the other two props. I know that's uh, not exactly the most uh, technical term when it comes to aerodynamic or aeronautical testing, but yeah, I think it's a, got a better, a little bit better punch than the other two props, for sure. Aerobatics on all three props is. Uh, it's pretty much the same, you know. I mean, a lot of that has to do with the weight. Um, I think on this plane, aerobatic uh, performance. So nice, easy, slow flying at about a 40% throttle setting. Pretty much the same on all three props. This plane just handles so beautifully in all speed regimes. So good punch out power there in the vertical. I'm sure by now you guys are bored stiff of all these videos of me flying, <laughs> flying close to myself and then speeding away. But hopefully, uh, you know, the data that I've been collecting here is 
I know it's been really helpful to me, so hopefully it's been helpful to uh, to some of you guys as well. So let's try. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty shitty. Pretty uh, shoddy approach there. But anyway, she's on the ground safely. Uh, maybe uh, I'm a motor, maybe tiny a bit. A bit. Uh, yeah, it's the motor's definitely a bit warmer. Nothing. Um, nothing scary though. Yeah, speed controller's still cool. And the batteries, battery's still good. So, pardon me. So anyway, um, I'm not going to say which is my favorite prop here just yet. I'm going to go home and watch the video. Uh, yesterday, I, uh, I I sort of right off the bat at the field said, "Oh yeah, the six x four EMP is uh, my favorite prop on the 2212 uh, RC timer." And then after I watched my own video a few times, I I realized that probably the six x three EMP was the better. The better choice. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do that before I, uh, before I make up my mind. But um, nice thing is on the 40 amp speed controller, you know everything was good there. So you could lighten it up, or I, you know I could I could probably lighten it up, maybe uh, fly it again, do another test with the 30 amp speed controller, and uh, see if it handles it okay. Uh, I'm I'm surprised, but you know you get what you pay for. Uh, this thing's rated at 34 amps, and what did I get? 26, I guess, is the highest I got um, on a medium setting on my ESC. But uh, it worked worked really well with the 40 amp uh, speed controller. So anyway, uh, you'll be happy to know I won't be uh, doing much more testing for a few more days. So we won't have to read all my uh, boring long reports on the website and watch my videos. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, gotta go away for a few days for a family commitment, but. Uh, Anyway, it's been lots of fun finding all this stuff out, so uh, I'll write up my report uh, today and uh, hopefully get the video posted on YouTube. So uh, thanks very much for your patience and thanks for watching.